this season is so traumatic. It's just going to get better, right? It's just going to be rainbows and butterflies and peace. We can only help. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an incredible day. If you are new here, my name is Tixie and I hope you enjoy your time with us. Today, we're gonna be watching the fourth episode of season two of Stranger Things. Last episode was kind of a little concerning um, considering at the very, very end, Will got possessed or taken over or I don't know. The thing that has been chasing him and terrorizing him turned into like smoky goodness and then like went inside the boy's nostrils and um you know it's fine everything's fine i'm sure he's great i'm sure there's nothing to be concerned about dart grew extra legs and is angry now because mike tried to squish him so everything is just really looking up and i'm sure this episode is going to be really positive and full of a lot of healthy things for all the characters involved a lot of healing <laughs> Definitely not bad vibes. But yeah, let's jump right into it, shall we? Will! Dustin! What's going on? Where's Will? Will is fine. Oh no. I just found him like this. I think he's having another episode. Yeah, this is where he's confronting it in his mind. Sweetie, wake up. It's mom. He's fine. He's doing so good. Oh God. Oh God. That's awful. <laughs> well, he's awake. Oh no, that's really not good. Is he okay? Probably not. He's great. He's fine. Okay, that totally freaked me out. Did that not freak you guys out? No, we're kind of used to it. <laughs> What's true sight? It's nothing. Listen, y'all kind of have to explain what's happening to Max at this point. Whether or not you like it, she is definitely becoming part of your circle. And it's going to traumatize her if you let her witness that without like any explanation about why. You know? I need you to tell me the truth. I am. Cotton 4K, bestie. These episodes that you're having, I think Dr. Owens is wrong. I think they're real. If you're not going to talk to Dr. Owens about it, talk to her about it. You can trust your mom. Can you trust Dr. Owens? Probably not. But Joyce? Yeah. She only has your best interest in mind. It's your mom. What is it? I don't know. It's almost more like a, a feeling. A feeling? Just terror? What does it want? You. It wants you back. I still feel it. I just want this to be over. Oh, this poor baby. That's gotta be awful. Hopper's waiting. Listen, we knew this was gonna happen, okay? With the way things have been going between you two lately, is it really that shocking that she rebelled against you? Hey, 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 don't walk away from me! And how about you don't raise your voice like that? You promise I go and I never leave! That's fair. Nothing happens and you stay safe! Yeah, but what kind of life is that? She's literally, it's prison. I protect and I feed and I teach. And all I ask of you is that you follow three simple rules. You're acting just like her dad, just like Papa. That's not good, Hopper. That's a very bad look for you. Well, congratulations. You just graduated from no TV for a month to no TV at all. You think this is going to make her listen to you? It's not. It's going to make her do the exact opposite. You are like Papa. Really? In this moment, you are. Hey. What the heck was wrong with you? That's so shocking. It's really shocking that we're using our powers to rebel and we're probably going to leave again. Well, that's not going to draw any attention to anything. Oh, Hopper. I really do like you as a character, but no, that's just not it. That's not how we handle situations like that. That's really bad. Like he's trying to protect her, but also that's not the way. It's Jonathan. That makes sense. I hope her and Steve are able to talk and figure things out. She's pulling away from Steve. They need to talk about that for both of their sakes. She needs to figure out if that's actually how she feels or if it's just because she's going through stuff and she's pulling herself away from loved ones because she's down on the dumps. Did he get any of my messages from yesterday? Did you? No, no, I need Hopper. We specifically need Hopper because no one else is going to listen to us. Hopper knows things that y'all don't know. How you feeling, sleepyhead? Same as last night, still weird. Oh yeah, that thing entered our body or something. I don't know what it did. It made us have like full-on convulsions, so I'm sure it's not great, you know? 
You promised no doctor. And I meant it. Okay. Yeah, no doctor. Not unless you like drastically have to, but if our temperature is a little cold, we'll be okay. Just, you know, monitor it. Make sure it doesn't get overly cold. Morning, Dark. Got you some breakfast. Oh, his little stretchy is. Oh, they're so cute. I'm still really upset and concerned about what happened to Yertle. Because last we saw Yertle, he took him out of his enclosure and just put him on the floor. Where's Yertle now? Is Yertle still just on the floor? What happened to Yertle? Did we abandon him? This is so disgusting. Is this really necessary? What is happening? What do you think? We're looking for Dart. Oh. <laughs> Little do they know, we have Dart. When we encounter danger, our hearts start pounding. Oh, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Why are they making just a simple bath seem so scary? We gotta get your body temp back up. No. What? He likes it cold. Okay, that's concerning. Yeah, there's somebody occupying our brain and that's not great. He may like it cold, Bestie, but your human body is not gonna like it cold. Hey, kid. You better apologize. About last night, I, uh... You're sorry? I want this place cleaned up by the time I get back and then- Ugh, it's really not hard to take accountability and realize that you literally scared the bejesus out of her and made her feel unsafe just because you were angry and upset that she disobeyed you. Like, gross. I hate seeing this man's face. You and the princess break up for one day. She's already running off with the freak's brother. Jonathan and the princess skipped yesterday. Still haven't shown. They've always been friends. Well, not like always, but like they've been friends throughout the entire time they were even together, so. A pretty boy like you's got nothing to worry about. Plenty of bitches in the sea. Am I right? Why? I just, okay. You know, I just, I can't. I don't know. Anytime Billy interacts with literally anybody, I'm just confused. <laughs> I do not understand any of his actions or like how he chooses to respond to things. Like, why did we turn the shower off? I'm sure he's not going to be around a lot or anything and I'm going to have to get used to him. What is happening? Yeah. Are y'all good? Yeah. Really? I think we should go. Right. Right, 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 right. I was like, what is happening? Why is this going on? All right, we made that phone call to Barb's parents on the phone and they were listening in. So now we're probably being watched and we're being followed because they heard us trying to, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Got it. I had to remember that part because it only lasted like five minutes in the last episode. Yeah, we're not going nowhere. Trouble with your car, miss? I can give you two a lift if you like. No, absolutely not. Yeah, this is really unfortunate, besties. Now what? Heck. I overslept. What the heck's going on? It's freezing. Our boy likes it cold right now, so it's gonna be very freezing. We have a visitor. Oh, he looks totally like himself. Like he's got full mental clarity, and there's not something else taking over his mind and thoughts right now. You told your mom it likes it like this. It likes it cold. I didn't know that. I mean, it makes sense. His body temperature is cold and it's now apparently in his mind or something. It's like, I know it's hard, but can you just, can you try? I don't know. I'm sorry. No, no. It's oh, he's trying so hard. He's really trying, but like, yeah, sometimes you just can't put things together. But if you didn't have to use words. Oh, not using words might make it easier. Yeah, use the artsy side of the boy. Sometimes you can't put things into word. Totally valid. Into word, words, words, words. Sometimes though, you cannot put things into words. So if we can draw and get the point across, bet. We need to talk. AV room, right now. Party members only. <sighs> no. Sir, like she's literally part of your group now and you need to just accept that and get over it. Everyone else doesn't mind having her around. You're not in charge of everything. Will didn't want me to tell anyone, but on Halloween night he saw sort of shadow in the sky to be fair though this one specific instance where they're talking about will and his trauma and the upside down i guess it's more sensible that he wouldn't want max to be involved because they don't want to have to try to explain everything and don't know if they're ready to explain that with another person if we find art maybe we can solve this thing maybe we can help will maybe 
Maybe possibly. Because there is that theory that maybe Dart is the slug that he threw up. That at least put us on the right track. God, I wish I could do that. Is that a hidden floorboard? Sure looks like it. It's going to be where we put all Sarah's stuff. Oh, interesting. The lab. Are these like research documents or? Oh, that's really good. Now we're at the lab. The ones responsible for what happened to your brother and Miss Holland's death, they're gone. Uh-huh. But I can't make things better without your help. You mean without us shutting up? Yeah, pretty much. We're not together. Want to see what really killed your friend? I mean... Don't we already know what really killed our friend? Well, we haven't seen like the portal, but I mean, Nancy's been in there and saw the Demogorgon. Let's say the Soviets, if they heard about our mistake, what if they tried to replicate that? The more people like the Hollands know the truth, the more likely that scenario becomes. I mean, that's fair, but also like their daughter died. They deserve an explanation, especially because they're not getting any. So therefore, they're now going like in debt and doing all these drastic decisions because they don't know and they feel like they're being lied to. They're going to throw their whole entire lives away trying to figure out what happened. Dang, bestie, you really do be drawing real fast. Are you making like one master photo? Like, are you supposed to connect them all together? This is more of the same. It's nothing. It's just... Nah, there's something in there. They make like a big photo. These black lines, see? What? Look, they connect. Uh-huh. He's making a big picture. There you go. Put them all together like a giant old puzzle. Oh my God, that's going to take so long. And he's still drawing too. He's like in a trance with these drawings. Oh my goodness. Is that the tunnels that he's been like running around in in his head? I mean, maybe it's it's roots. Cause remember he he was saying it was spreading and it... killing. Yeah. Vines. Oh, vines. Okay. I mean, I'm glad you came to that conclusion, but I don't know how that seems like he knows what vines maybe or something. Hey, where are you going? Come on, we've got to go look for dirt. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, she doesn't want to be involved anymore because y'all keep icing her out. Well, not y'all. Literally, Mike. Hey, you guys act like you want me to be your friend, but then you just treat me like garbage. That's not true. It is. No, it's actually true. I thought you guys wanted me in your party. We do. But Mike doesn't. Did you keep secrets from Elle? No. I don't want to be in your stupid party anyway. I'm out. Yeah, I don't play Max. They're constantly like trying to get her involved and do things with her. And then at the same time, icing her out of important things and making her feel like an outcast. Specifically Mike, but all of them are complying. So it's like... Do they or do they not want her to be part of their friend group? Because it's constantly like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And I would give up too, honestly. It's just exhausting, especially for somebody like Max, who is new to the school. So like she doesn't have a lot of friends. She thought she was having a friend group, but they keep icing her and then like inviting her back. And it's too much. Why was he talking to you? Why was he, talking to you? he causing you trouble? Why do you care? Yeah, why do you care? There are certain type of people in this world that you stay away from. Kid Max, that kid is one. But why? What reason do you have to not like Lucas? Huh? I don't think Lucas has given you one single reason to not like him. Other than like she walked away from a conversation with him upset. Bessie, yeah, I do that with like a lot of people. <laughs> that doesn't mean I hate them. That just means like sometimes, yeah, you just get a little upset and you need to walk away and cool down. We're linking the vines with the pumpkins. Okay, that makes sense because it is killing a lot. It's killing pumpkins though. It's killing life technically because it's all plants. Jane. Finally found mom. He's got information about mom. Papa. Wait, so why is Papa with her actual mom? I think that's who it was. Honestly, I don't remember what her mom's actual face looks like because we didn't really see much of her in the first season. Or are we going to try to connect to mom? That might help us, honestly. 
Hello? Jade. Oh, she can actually see her? That's definitely not good. I don't think that's ever happened with our power, has it? Poor Elle. She's been through so much. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, to be honest. Does that mean, like, what happened to mom? Is Will here? You know, now, now is not a really good time. Is he okay? Yeah. He's fine. It's about the shadow monster, isn't it? Yes, it is, bestie. <laughs> Have a nice day. But what did they do with y'all, huh? I'm, I guess they just showed you that thing and were like, don't tell anyone. And then that's it. I mean, that seems pretty light considering they literally like followed you around in a giant group around the park. They're probably not going to stop watching you. It's just going to keep happening. Did we record it? So I see they're not very thorough. <laughs> they didn't even like search her bag in any way, shape or form. Not saying that like that's ethical in any way, like in any way, but are they? No, absolutely not. So I'm really shocked they did not search them before letting them in there and talking to them in such a way. You know what I mean? It's bizarre to me that we were able to get it on, on record, but whatever. And do it for the plot, I guess. Mew Mew, dinner. Where are you? Are they getting Mew Mew Cheerios? I've got to talk to you, buddy. I think. Dart's not there. Dart's gone. He broke out. That's not good. Did he outgrow it? Uh, ew. Yeah, I think he outgrew. Oh, bestie. He sounds very big. Why is there so much what looks like blood? <gasps> oh, it is a demogorgon. Oh no. Oh, that's really upsetting. That's gonna that's gonna weigh in our conscience for literally the rest of our life. That we brought that thing into our house and it ate our cat. Uh, why is the floor hissing? Ah, uh, why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? This seems very reckless and dangerous and that we should not be doing this on our own. Sir, please. Well, we found the vines. This season is full of a lot of people making very poor decisions. Yeah, so it turns out Dart um, definitely is dangerous. I don't know if we're in direct harm, but I mean, it it, it killed our cats. Hey, that sucks because losing a pet is awful, especially in such a traumatic way. Also, the fact that we brought that thing into our house. Also, now how are we going to explain that to any of the family or anybody involved that knows about our cat? Everything's great. Everything's fine. Everything's great. It's fine. Will is in a predicament of his own so 11 is going through it everyone is just going through it this season is so traumatic i think i'm meaning to understand why people say that season two is their least favorite and i don't think it's because it's bad i think it's just man besties are having a rough time everyone is going through some sort of traumatic something right now and it's just so much but it is keeping me invested so i'm liking the season it's just it's a lot to process but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with when i post videos also go ahead and comment your favorite part of the episode down below or least favorite part because i don't know if anyone has a favorite part of these episodes right now i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye